Good morning. <laughs> Woo. Things we need to talk about before we get into this video. Um, one, I live in North Carolina. So when I made the video originally of redoing the balcony, it was 60 something degrees outside. Um, that I have on a fur coat today because when I walked out my house, it was 29. It, 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 yeah. Welcome to North Carolina. Um, right now it's like 34, so there's that. It's like 11.30ish in the morning. Um, okay, so my balcony is enclosed. Before you alter your balcony, make sure you look through your lease because some leases have very vague bullcrap clause um, about you doing things. Um... <clears throat> And if it is vague, maybe you don't know. Like, just, yeah. Um, so maybe you need to talk to your leasing manager or whatever. Just being a clear girl. If you're renting, just, just, just double check everything, okay? Number two, don't break your pocket. I spent months planning this and accumulating things that I wanted because I had a certain image in my head. Um, the sheets were mainstays from Walmart. The carpeting that we put down was mainstays from Walmart. Um, and everything's going to be linked below. I went on Facebook Marketplace and found my palettes. Some places have them for free. Others will sell them to you for like for four or five dollars a piece. Um, so that's where I got my palettes. You can go on Facebook Marketplace and find really good condition or brand new mattresses. I just had a lot of people who were playing games. And <clears throat> so I ended up going to Ikea and getting mine. That was more expensive. But again, I took months to plan this. So I was okay with doing that. Like I had the money to do it. So just adjust to your budget and what you want your balcony to look like um the pillows i went to like ross and marshall's i had a gift card to marshall's for christmas so i used that okay we all about budgeting over here um the pillows also marshall's ross and target had a 90 percent off clearance on their christmas y'all and some of their pillows didn't look christmas like so i got some of those okay Okay, the so curtains the were the most expensive portion, and I knew it was going to be expensive. I was just trying to figure out a way to enclose the balcony for privacy and for reasons like this when it's freezing outside and I still want to use my balcony um, because we have a heating component. So, a safe heating component. Y'all don't put nothing crazy on your balcony, please. Don't set no fires. Um... So yeah, um, those will be linked below too. Um, they're waterproof, weatherproof, so when the rain comes, they don't do it. We also have a flood dam or water dam around the perimeter at the base of the balcony so that if it rains and, I don't know, it starts to rise or anything, it won't come in and damage my carpet. So all bases covered here. Everything will be linked below. If you have questions, please comment and let me know. I'm here to help you. I love doing stuff like this, so let me know if you like it. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Thanks, guys.